Hey folks, welcome to our musky segment. I've got Rich Belanger once again on the show. Rich. Hi, Joe. This is a great episode, folks. You're about to see Rich Belanger catch a beast. A beast. His biggest fish to date. This top reader's been good to you, and this, and you are like, you're like um, the fourth quarter kid. I mean, you, no matter what happens to you, good or bad during the day, that last half hour of daylight, first half hour of darkness, you just come alive. That's, be that's become my time. Yeah. You know, we start early in the morning. We go all day. He catches fish. I net him, which you see on all the episodes. It's normal. When it gets close to dark, this time, this trip anyhow, that's when my fish have been coming. Yeah. And they're coming on this baby right here. That top raider has been tied on all week. He's responsible for a number of fish. And the one you're about to see, which he annihilated that thing. Yeah, yeah. The old loon top raider. And this, is, this, is, this, this, is, this fish is a classic example of what I've written about in, in books. I've talked about it in videos and on my television show and seminars. Keep revisiting a big follow. Keep revisiting a big follow. We've been, re we've been revisiting this spot for seven days. Yeah. Seven days. Seeing this fish for seven days off and on, just a couple times all week. Deep, subtle follows, staying deep and just, but we, we knew it was a big one. We just didn't know yeah. just how big. And tonight, the final night of the trip, the final night of the trip, you know, just fourth quarter, a minute <laughs> left, you're down by six. Brock, the cameraman, who's done a tremendous job, he's giving me a hard time about catching fish in the light because they all come after dark, which means he works harder. I gave him one in daylight. And you did. You did. But we're doing the clothes in dark. Yes. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, folks, this is as good as it gets. It's uh, being involved with, with a big fish catch like this is just as much fun, in my opinion, as catching them yourself, especially when you've caught as many as I do. And, it, this is just an awesome episode, and uh, I'm very proud of the top reader to begin with, and I'm really proud of Rich for catching this big beast, and I'm really glad that I was here to net it for him. It's Check this out. It's a big one. There he is. Oh, there you go, there you Motor got, got Motor City Madman. And you got your top raider fish for the night, Rich. There's Motorhead. He's got Good Motor. Fish. Oh, that's a big one, Rich. That's the biggest fish of the week. That's a big fish, Rich. That's a 50. Whoa. Not hook great either. <laughs> Rich, that's big. That's the biggest fish of the week. Oh man, that's the biggest fish of the week. Rich Blanger, Saint Gritty, oh, you got her. Pick her up, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Take her over to your left a little more. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that's a low, nice low, nice and low. Oh, what a beast! Rich Belanger. Six days I've been chasing her. He did. We, we were after her. We called her the Motor City Mad Motorhead. Man. Motorhead. Motorhead. <laughs> it's the same spot, if you watch the show regularly, it's the same fish, where, same spot where Rich caught that one when I started the motor last year. What do you think, folks? What a monster, huh? What a oh. strike. Hey, we'll see you next week. Great job, Rich. <laughs>